Hey loves, it's me as your girl, it's Amir, coming back to you with another video. If this is your first time seeing this yellow potato on your screen, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and do not forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I post a video. Guys, mm, ow. Your girl is officially four months locked. Your girl is officially four months locked. Like, so of course I'm going to give you the usual update um my hair is flourishing um my hair actually got longer i'm going to insert a clip now or here if you see this video you see that i um just started my locks and they fell a little bit under my ear now if you look at my hair my hair is getting more dense more longer so of course i'm going to give you the 360 and I'm going to do that right now. So my hair probably looks a little crazy, I don't know. I did a retwist a week and a half ago. Um, this week will make it two weeks. Um, but this is my retwist. I'm gonna just show you all the front for right now. Oh, let me get that behind my ear. Um, this is what the front's looking like show y'all my parts fresh retwists Yes, I keep my scalp moisturized and my parts clean because baby, we don't do that. We don't do that over here. So with my hair meeting the four month update, wow, I can't believe I'm saying that. So let's get into details about my hair. I really see my hair locking um, majority in the front. So you can see like this is all new growth which my hair grows really fast but oh my god look how long and right here is really when i'm seeing the budding more um but as you see in the end you still see my two strand twist pattern so it's not fully locked but i'm not mad at that there was one dread i'm trying to find where my budding was at the end i think this is it yeah so this is all new growth yeah i know it's crazy um and my budding, like this is fully budded. Like I call my back dreads, my four musketeers. They like, they're, I think they're almost fully dreaded. All right, so I got a big head, so you know, oh well. I'm gonna try to do this sideways because, so y'all can see more. Okay, so this is my new growth. This starting to the end is all budded bumpy and it's thick the far middle i don't know i can't see so but the far middle i feel is completely dreaded um the retwist came out but the far middle is completely dreaded i don't feel any two strange twists other if it's at my end this is one of my thinner locks but surprisingly it's good um <laughs> But this is a new growth, Ooh, bitch. But this is my new growth, all right there. And then this is fully dreaded. And same for this one, fully dreaded. This doesn't even have a retwist. <laughs> I'm just realizing that. This isn't retwisted, but this is all my new growth. And literally, this is my dread. This is where my hair was when I first started which I think is pretty crazy. I've been exercising almost every day. A problem I came across quickly was my retwist was just gone. Like, thank God it was like a week till my uh, retwist. So I wasn't really worried. So I was really carefree about it. So 
that's what I experienced. Now that I did my retwist, I'm actually glad I'm about to go on week two and it looks really decent. So I take a stocking cap and I just put it over my head and then I take a scrunchie and I pull all my hair back and put it in a low ponytail. But make sh I make sure that the I'm not gripping my roots too much because that's just stretching out my roots. So when I work out, I try to work out in front of a fan blasting or if I go running or jogging, I try to go either earlier in the day or later in the day, especially that it's summertime so I can really not feel the heat, I can beat the sun and other things like that. And so far it's been working well. When I'm done working out, I keep my stocking on my head. I keep it in a ponytail till my roots is completely dry. But overall, it's good. By the time I go to bed, all I do is transition from that. I um put my little sprays in and whatnot, make sure my hair is still moisturized. Um, and then I put on my scarf and I keep it moving next day do the same thing one big problem that i really don't know what i'm going to do yet is build up so i was washing my hair and i was washing my hair with this shampoo and when i washed it i saw this white stuff and it was nowhere near the ends it was like up here so i was like what is that like what is that so I washed it again. I didn't see it anywhere in my front, predominantly my back crown area. So I was like, what is that? And then I saw right here. So I know buildup is very, 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 very bad for people who have locks. And even though it's very bad, it's very common though. So I wasn't too worried, but at the same time, I wanted to get it out of my hair. So I shampooed to the best of my ability. I did an oil treatment. Um, I still had a little white spots here and there, but I knew that um, it wasn't going to kill me. Like I'll be okay. So um, I don't know if it's because I'm retwisting once a month or if it's what I'm retwisting with. I'm retwisting with the mango lime uh, retwisting cream. It's like orangish color um i don't know if that's what's causing it i'm gonna do a little more research so yes your girl is officially four months <laughs> but yeah guys i hope you like this video um if you did please give it a big thumbs up and recommend it to your friends and family also if you're thinking about doing your log journey i'll say just just do it just take that step and if you're on your log journey I hope you are doing amazing. Please stay strong. I know when you're starting, you start looking at old photos and you see yourself in those natural hairstyles. And then you see yourself with those weaves, those wigs, those box braids and whatnot. And you're just like, oh my gosh, I was such a bad, I was so cute. And I just want to remind you guys that this is a journey for a reason no journey is going to be straightforward you're gonna have positives fives all across the board it's not, a journey is not like that it's called a journey for a reason you're going to have wonderful amazing ups you're going to look at yourself and you're going to feel empowered you're going to have great days with your locks you're going to accomplish a lot of things like lock anniversaries and other things like that and you get to learn about yourself so much and your hair and who you are but as well as the amazing ups, there's going to be critical downs. And you just need to know that it's a journey for a reason. Again, thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video.